Hello. If you have done any type of searching about how to get into cybersecurity, you have probably come across cybersecurity boot camps. And in this video, I'm going to go over five alternatives to cybersecurity boot camps so you don't have to spend $20,000. The first cybersecurity bootcamp alternatives is just to get a crappy entry level job. There's a huge movement anti nine to five work, but in reality, getting a job as quickly as you can is the best thing that you could do because you're going to learn a lot on that job and you're going to get paid while doing it. I know a lot of people don't have the leisure to taking off six months to go study something and spending $20,000 to do it. So by actually getting a job while at this job, you're also going to meet a lot of people who work in the industry and you're probably going to figure out the best pathway forward after that. Some really good entry level jobs are the our IT support, which may not be cybersecurity, but I bet you there are security related tasks that you could do and then put on your resume. Also, there is a GRC analyst, a cybersecurity analyst. You'll also get feedback on what you like and what you don't like. It's completely free and often comes with health benefits. The second cybersecurity bootcamp alternative is an accelerated degree. When I say an accelerated degree, I mean it doesn't take you four years and you can take more classes than what they usually allow you to, which I think is like 15 credits. A semester. So some colleges, you can actually take as many courses as you can complete in one semester. I personally went to Western Governors University and strongly recommend it. There they have the Bachelors of Cybersecurity, in which case not only do you get a bachelor's degree, it also comes with industry recognized certifications such as the CompTIA A+. There are also a lot of strategies where you can actually do a lot of the prereqs beforehand and graduate within one to two years. The tuition is only around $3,700 per six month term. I'm actually thinking about learning educational design and I would definitely get my master's in this. I could probably complete it within six months to a year and gain a lot of really good skills for only around four to $8,000, which is very cheap considering most colleges are going to charge like $50,000 for a master's program. The next cybersecurity alternative is to get extremely involved with the online community in cybersecurity. There are tons of different groups and people on LinkedIn and Twitter and YouTube all having these groups to help you get into cybersecurity. I'm sure you have something that you could give back or talk about or something of that sort within these communities. Oftentimes people will get jobs from these, not a guarantee, but you're also networking and that's extremely important and you never have to leave your home. I know a lot of my audience is introverted and you may not want to leave your home. The next way that you could just bypass a cybersecurity bootcamp is by self teaching yourself. I'm actually learning lots of really cool techniques on like how to learn skills really rapidly. And so, you can definitely learn it on your own, but you're going to want to specifically know why you're learning it, what job you are wanting to go for, and also what skills you're going to need to have along with choosing carefully what your curriculum is to learn those skills. So when you are self teaching yourself, I strongly suggest reaching out to someone with that job that you currently want. I do have a free course list below to help you get started if you're interested. The next and final alternative to a cybersecurity bootcamp is an associate's degree. I think people really overlook associate's degrees, but I'm sure that your local community college has one for some type of technical program, whether it be cybersecurity, robotics, IT, something of that sort. Associate's degrees also come with an insane amount of resources. You get feedback from an actual instructor, which people charge a lot of money for. You get a community of students who are also looking for jobs and may also help you in the future when you are trying to find a job and they have one. You don't know who you're going to meet when you do this. They have a lot of free learning resources. Oftentimes you'll get free books. They have career advice, resume reviews, 
lots of really great stuff at community college that I really think people just kind of overlook. That concludes my cybersecurity bootcamp alternatives. I do have a special playlist for you if you're interested all about cybersecurity right here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.